subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello students. May God keep you happy and healthy. Sorry. Bad weather conditions simply spoiled. Bad weather conditions simply spoiled. Simply spoiled. Spoiled our last class. Bad weather conditions simply ruined. Ruined our last class. Bad weather conditions simply. Mar, marder, marder our last class, but nothing to worry. We shall continue the story, the midnight visitor today. But before doing that, let's do a little of warm up. You see, here I have written a sentence. We entered in. Into the room. We entered in the room. We entered into the room. Outwardly, there seems nothing with this expression. But in your exam hall, while you are with educated people, you must not write in or into because the verb enter is used. Transitively, we enter the room. It's grammatically correct. We enter the room. Never speak or write. We enter in. We enter in. Right? Now the second expression. We reached to the school. How many times we Vidyale Pahunche, where is it? To the school, where is it? To the station, outwardly there seems nothing but wrong with this expression, but so far it's the question of grammar, it must have been written as, where is it? Where is it? The station. Okay, now after this warm up, we shall begin the story once again with a new determination, and that's the midnight visit. You always you must keep in mind these three points. The first one is possible did not fit any description of a secret agent. That father had ever read. Mind you, this is a very, very, very. This story, the midnight wisdom, begins with this sentence. The story, the midnight wisdom, begins with this sentence. And this sentence has got a lot of clues for you to have a better understanding of the image. Right? Possible did not fit any description of a secret agent that father had ever read. Later on, I will reveal why I am emphasizing on this point. Now, the second point is father felt disappointed. Father felt disappointed. Nira. Father felt. Frustrated, Fowler felt this illusion. Brahmamano, Brahmetha. Ekaek, he felt laid down. The second important point to have a better understanding of this nation is Fowler felt disappointed, Fowler felt disillusioned, Fowler felt frustrated, Fowler felt bored, Fowler felt laid down. And the thinking, and the third thing is how did Oliver get rid of Ma, Max? The second important point is how did Oliver get rid 
of his enemy Max. So let me tell you something about this point B first. Why did father feel disappointed? Why did father feel disillusioned? Why did father feel frustrated? Why did father feel bored? Why did father feel let down? Apne ko bada thaga sa. अपने को बड़ा डिसल्यूजन डिसअपॉइंटेड फ्रस्ट्रेटेड फील कर रहा वाई लेट एस फर्स्ट डिस्कवर दिस पॉइंट माई डियर फ्रेंड्स फाउलर वॉज अ राइटर फाउलर वॉज राइटर एंड ही लव टू रीड detective novels detective stories and he had his own conclusions and imaginations about say fate events but mind you his imaginations and his conclusions were based on fictions secret agents are portrayed secret agents are depicted secret agents are described as very intelligent very smart very young they are portrayed as young men having a lot of intelligence having a lot of activeness etc usually in fictions the description is like this that secret agents are often surrounded by black eyed beauties there is crack of pistol around them there is wine drug etc around them but so they are always surrounded by danger they are dealing espionage so these kinds of description made him conclude that secret agents are very smart very active very intelligent so he wanted to meet a secret agent for his writing so he decided to see ozebel he had been told that ozebel was a very good secret very intelligent secret agent okay so he went to see him but what he found out there was contrary to his expectations contrary to his imaginations ozebel did not fit any description ozebel did not fit any description of a secret agent that fowler had ever read why baba why baba he was a very very fat man he was pot bellied tone the ear his accent was very strange he could speak french and german passably he would speak gaa ghar gharate hue wisi He did not seem at all smart. He did not seem at all active. So, so, Fowler felt terribly disappointed. So, Fowler felt terribly disillusioned. So, Fowler felt frustrated, bored, let up. Because there was a wide gap. between his imagination and the reality he failed to see that his conclusions about secret agents were based on fictions novels stories and a real secret agent does not behave so that was the difference anyway so two points uh, 
has been discussed so far the fowler fed disappointed what fowler fed disillusion what i told you and uh, this point has also been dealt the observer did not fit any description of a secret is it that fowler had ever read he was very fat his accent was very bad he could speak german and french passably he would speak wheezily outwardly he seemed to be a very dull inactive fellow so paul what fate was this illusion he went led up manush kya koda pahar nukli nikli chahiye bejat sa apne ko anubhav kar raha tha now before dealing this question ki how did all of us get rid of max let me remind you the message inherent in this leaf the message of this lesson is wait w i t wait the message of this lesson is wait quick wait ready wait sharp wait sharp wait quick wait ready wait is mightier than the sword is more powerful than the sword is strength and this lesson also teaches us a very important lesson of life what is that what we need most what we need most when we are surrounded when we are surrounded by danger when we are surrounded by adversity what we need most when we are surrounded by adversity when we are surrounded by dangers disasters epidemic or any kind of adverse situation what we need most during adverse situations is if we poise of mind mental coolness mental equipoise coolness calmness equipoise and above all presence of mind so these are the things are needed by us when we are surrounded by any kind of adverse situation these things help us to overcome every crisis so these are the reasons so now let me tell you that ozebel brilliantly showed these values these qualities these virtues when he found Death in front of him, as Max, who was holding an automatic pistol. Okay. So now let us discuss the third point. How did Oswald get rid of Max? Oswald is a secret agent. Oswald. was a secret agent and he was expecting a very important report a very important paper paper on missile and the paper had the power of changing affecting the course of history 
so important word that report so important word that thing okay audible try to console audible try to cheer up his young friend i mean the writer fowler that should he would see a very important paper on design in his room he was to receive that night and he took him inside his room he unlocked the door of his room he was living in a very ordinary room on the top and sixth floor of a very ordinary french hotel he took him ausable to a fowler inside his room he closed the room and switched the light on and at this juncture fowler had the first authentic thrill of the day wrong day khare ho gaye uske he saw a man halfway across the room holding an automatic pistol in his hand Fowler had the first authentic thrill of the day. Now, what happened with Osable? Osable immediately planned how he would get rid of Max. another secret agent who had entered his room to snatch that important report from him away he did not lose his equanimity he did not lose his equipoise he preserved his calmness coolness and immediately plotted a story about a non existent balkan and he must have been a great actor as well he sat down heavily when he saw max holding a pistol and standing in his room waiting for the paper to come and to take it away he sat down heavily in an armchair and suddenly he got furious suddenly he got furious very angry and whatever he did seemed a so natural to max that he went on believing whatever was uttered by ozib to ozibal when ozibal saw max inside the room holding a pistol he sat down in an armchair he heavily sat down धम से बैठ गया एंड बिकम वेरी एंग्री एंड ही स्टार्टेड एक्सक्यूजिंग द होटल मैनेजमेंट ही सेड दैट दैट टाइम दैट दिस टाइम ही वुड नॉट लेट द होटल मैनेजमेंट गो फ्री बिकॉज इवन आफ्टर हिज रिपीटेड रिक्वेस्ट दे हैव फेल्ड to close the balcony that was beneath the ordinary window of his room he went and he and he started accusing the whole hotel management for not closing the balcony other the window of his room and he said 
that uh, that it was not the balcony of his apartment it was the balcony of the next apartment and he acted so wisely so confidently that max believed that there was a balcony just under the window of possible room not only that possible added that it was the second time in the month that somebody had entered the room through that balcony now it was max turned to say max immediately said uh, that had he known uh, that there was a balcony he would have entered from that only but he told ozibel that he had not entered ozibel's room through the balcony he had used the pass key it was all because of his brilliant act and confidence equipoise that was able made him believe that there was a balcony close to his room under the window of his room he made him believe and so max told him that he had not entered his room through the balcony had he known earlier he would have preferred to do the same he added that he had entered his room with the help of a pass key and when he cleverly possible kept uh, him uh, in bond uh, with her some irrelevant questions about the tape really audible have been waiting for something to happen and what was he waiting for you know he was waiting for the better he was waiting for the waiter he had ordered wine before entering his room with mad foul so he was waiting for the knocking made by the waiter and then suddenly there was a knocking at the do father again had a thrill he was terribly afraid hearing the knocking at the door and max another cigarette isn't got very angry to hear the knock then agi audible succeeded in defooling he told him that the knockings were made by the police as the paper was very important as the paper on missile had the power of affecting the course of history he had requested the policemen to check on him after short intervals now that's what and and alarmed at the same time now he had no option but to take a jump in the balcony and he warned them that if ozible played any trick any clever cleverness he would not hesitate 
in shooting them. Ajibala agreed to his point. Ajibala agreed to his proposal. And suddenly, not suddenly, Max had been forced to take a jump into the non-existent balcony. He is very carefully getting hold of the sill and frame of the window, took a jump and he gave out the loud sill and he took a jump never to come back because there was no balcony. He must have fallen to the ground and lost his life. Now look here, how a real sacred isn't act, how a real sacred isn't war. Ozebel got rid of his enemy without using a weapon like a knife and Max had a pistol. So Ozebel could do, Ozebel could get rid of, Ozebel could kill his enemy because of his confidence, because of his equanimity, because of his equipoise, because of his coolness, because of his ready wit, sharp wit, presence of mind. So my dear friend, this story teaches us, and mind you, you should always be here. The theme, the central point. The more you do so, the better for you. If you forget the theme, if you forget the central idea, you won't do. You cannot do any justice with your answers. So the message inherent in this lesson is Presence of mind is mighty. Quick weight is mightier. Sharp weight is mightier. Ready weight is mightier than the show. More powerful. These things are more powerful than mere physical strength. And what we need most when we are surrounded by adversities, disasters, epidemic, we need to have equipoise, we need to have fullness of mind, we need to have presence of and possible Ozebel showed it brilliantly that he killed his enemy in the way which is simply wrong ta khara kar dele wala hair raisi. So in my little capacity I have tried to communicate the gist of this lesson to you and now something about your homework and I'll tell you about your homework with folded hands. Students, Larkia, Aapke Naam Nahi Lunga, Larke Aapke Naam Nahi Lunga, this video score स्कूल के ही नहीं बाहर के लोग भी देखते हैं नाम लेने लगूं तो तुम में से कम से कम 20 बॉयज हैं नाम लेने लगूं तो तुम में से कम से कम 20 गर्ल्स हैं जिन्होंने अब तक रिपोर्ट नहीं किया है और अगर तुमने तीन दिन में रिपोर्ट नहीं किया तो अब मैं एवरीडे 
इस वीडियो मेकिंग के समय तुम्हारा नाम लास्ट में दिया करूंगा ठीक है तुम्हारे पास दो महीना स्कूलिंग का टाइम है प्रतिदिन याद दिला देता हूं क्लास टेंथ और तुम्हारे एग्जाम्स मार्च के फर्स्ट वीक में है एनीवे हैव एन आइस डे कीप मी अपडेट अबाउट योर प्रोग्रेस अबाउट योर प्रिपरेशन अबाउट योर प्रॉब्लम्स